This is the car line for Farnsley Middle School. We spoke to parents during pickup. Some say the issue's gotten a little bit better, but others say they're still experiencing long wait times. Along Lee's Lane, parents tell us they get in line an hour before school gets out. Drivers have started pulling over onto the sidewalk so traffic can still get by. I know for me, it's a real inconvenience, you know, being as I work and I have things to do after work. Farnsley is a magnet school. Maxime Poteet's grandson is a sixth grader here. She says everyone in the family is pitching in to make it work. He has an uncle that can do it. My mom and papa, we take turns doing it, but it, it's really sad when a sixth grader wants to know why is he being punished with no bus because he wanted to go to this school. At the district's board meeting on Tuesday, Chief Operations Officer Rob Folk said Farnsley is one area they're focused on. We continue to assess areas where traffic patterns need adjustment. But we found some backups are being caused by right-sizing projects, such as Brownsboro Road near Chenoweth Elementary. The road by Chenoweth Lane was converted from four travel lanes to two with a two-way left turn lane, which is leading to traffic problems. There is significant construction going on on Brownsboro Road that is leading to traffic issues, and it's not because of buses. A spokesperson with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet says public input influenced the final design here, which maintained at least two lanes of traffic near the elementary school. They also modified traffic signal timing at Country Lane and Brownsboro, where you turn into the school. Another project near Field Elementary and Barrett Traditional changed Frankfurt Avenue from four lanes to two, but the district says parents have accounted for these delays, adjusted, and it's getting better. Parents at Eisenhower Elementary say they are still seeing issues too. We are always backed up. We have no place to go, so we have to park in the road. The district says they continue to evaluate drop-off and pickup at all schools. He loves the school, so we'll just make do with it. Madison Elliott, WLKY News.